Stephanie has been talking to Danny for almost 10 years. As much as I've tried to like move on, I just, like I can't let it go. After 10 years, what is this guy hiding? Uh-oh. The phone number links to this Facebook page. Oh no. Is it possible that she's been talking to this lady the whole time? Whenever I do try to be vulnerable, happens. All right, you ready? No. Okay, another perfect day in sunny Los Angeles. There's like a heat wave going through Los Angeles. The AC is broken. This is how hot it is in my apartment right now. 79 degrees. Ridiculous. I have this fan. It's doing absolutely nothing. We still can't go anywhere. So for the moment, I've got everything I need right here. You picked out that outfit, Cleo? This is a hat. This is a beautiful dress. This is a Christmas shirt. This is a necklace. This is my to toy play room. This is some unicorn pants. Wow. This is ballet shoes, ballet shoes. Wow. This is some makeup. Great outfit. Biggie, so hot. So what do I do? I go to my freezer. What do I get? This. Looking forward to cracking open another case of catfish. So hot. Let's get Cammy on. Come in the Zoom. Oh! What's up? The AC is broken. I'm oh, waiting really? for them to come and fix it. Wait, what is that thing? It's an ice roller. I got it on Amazon. How does it work? You put it in the freezer, you take it out, it's cold. Oh my God. Put it everywhere. This is how I've been surviving. Wow, anyway, so let me pull up my email here. It says, hey, Beeb and Cammie, my name is Stephanie. I'm a single mom to twin boys, and I live in Kissimmee, Florida. I've been talking to a guy named Danny from San Fran for almost 10 years. No! He's not like the other guys I have been into. Danny is sweet, loving, and supportive. I can't get him off my mind. In the night, I wonder. But for nearly a decade, we've been on and off. And as soon as things start to get serious, he goes ghost. In the night, I wonder. But right when I entertain a new relationship, Danny comes back full throttle. And I end up breaking things off with whoever I'm dating because I just don't like them as much as him. That literally just happened again and I don't know what to do. After all these years, we still haven't met or even video chat. Good night. But wait, wait. <laughs> I'm at a point now where I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Danny says he wants to be with me and I think I'm ready to be with him too, but I need stability for me and my kids. So it's either now or never. Oh, the brush is out. The therapy brush is out. As soon as you said 10 years, I was like, I think Whoa. that's the earliest. I think that's the earliest the brush has come out. So let me see if Stephanie's available here. Hey, Sam, this is Neve and Cammy. Just read your email. OMG, we need to talk. All right. Wow. A decade. I mean, it's I've been on and off. And obviously, unless her kids are older than 10, presumably, you know, she's had some serious relationships mixed in there. Yeah. But to, to be talking to someone for 10 years, this relationship goes back to the beginning of catfish term. The documentary catfish came out in 2010. That means that they've been doing this as long as I've been doing this. I was 17. I was Miss Teen USA. 2010? Yes. That was a good year for us. What a throwback. Wow. But 10 years? What are you actually doing to be stalling real relationships in your actual life? Right. Oh. Hey! hey! Stephanie! How are you? Oh my god. How are things down in Kissimmee? It's crazy with this whole like corona crap going on over here now. It's a lot. I mean, Florida's getting hit pretty bad. Yeah. All right, so what do you do in Kissimmee? Um, I do customer service and I have a cosmetology degree. So oh, cool. I'm like a little bit of everywhere. Cami has an astrology degree. Yes. What's okay. your sign? Scorpio. So go ahead and tell me what's wrong with me, Cami. 
No, I'm a Scorpio too. What's wrong okay. with you? What's wrong with me? <laughs> so wait a second. Time out because your story goes all the way back to 2010. Exactly. And at the time I was really into modeling. There was a guy, Danny. He was a photographer. I wanted to work with him. First I kept it professional. I was like, I want to work with you. I want to like do content. And he was like really into it. And then when I told him how old I was, he was like, no, I'm not doing it. Was he in Florida? Yeah, he was out in Miami at okay. that time, yeah. So it sounds like he was just sort of being smart and responsible and said no thanks. But how did that then turn into a 10 year romance? We like liked each other's stuff. We commented. It was just like, we kept it very social. Right. And then I turned 18 and I was like, nothing's stopping me. I like humor and he's really funny. So we would talk to each other all the time and it just started getting growing from there. Eventually, like later on, we spoke about meeting, but he had moved to San Francisco. Okay. So we started planning. Like I was planning to go to San Francisco, to stay there, be with him. He was like really into it. He wanted to be together. He wanted me to like meet his family. We, he wanted to start a family. Oh. He was actually excited, but then he just went ghost for like two weeks. So what did you say when he came back after two weeks of ghosting? That's when I become this crazy Latina. Like I asked him, I was like, where have you been? Like, what happened? Is there a problem? And he was like, no, he's blaming the time difference. It was the fact that he's worked too much or that he's working late or that he's not stable because he lives with roommates. And then the same stuff happened. He's there. He went ghost. It's a cycle. Hi, how are you? Bye. The same thing, always. What's the longest you guys have ever gone just without talking? Like not talking at all, like a couple months. I've tried to like move on or like with any other relationship, he's still in the back of my mind. Like there's something about him that I just, like I can't let it go. But obviously, I mean, you had a relationship with your kid's dad. Did you ever tell Danny about that? Yeah, he knew about it. He knew that I was with somebody else, but at that point he had gone ghost for a long time. Mm. And he obviously came back. Yeah. And since this whole crazy pandemic and quarantine, have you guys been talking more? Yeah. Wow, so you've really, like for 10 years, pretty much you've been in contact almost nonstop for the last 10 years. Yep. Do you talk on the phone or do you just text? We're just texting. So you've never even talked to him on the phone? No. Has he ever sent you like private photos, just like even of his face or of other things? Everything that I've seen is what's on social media. Has he ever texted you a photo of himself? No. In 10 years, nothing. No. Have you Nothing. sent him yeah, that? Yeah, I would send him pictures like, hi, I'm normal, I exist. I don't know how I feel about Danny. I get it. Can we see his Instagram? Yeah. All right, so here's Danny, okay. Is that him in the uh, on the top right corner? Yeah. The teddy bear. <laughs> and then he's also in the red shirt, right? Yeah. So then who's the skinnier guy with the shaved head? Yeah. That's his best friend who, he died like a year ago. He took it like oh. really to heart. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. In terms of Instagram profiles, this one seems authentic and normal. It is a very full account compared to most catfish yeah. accounts. I mean, on one hand, the situation seems absurd. Yeah. And yet, what makes it even crazier is that this guy and his life and, and his Instagram are all pretty believable. Well, what if we find out that this guy's been lying and it goes away? I would be completely, like, I'd be so hurt. I'd be, like, devastated, I guess, it would get to the point. I would just, I don't want to believe that 10 years of my life was wasted for nothing. You still have hope for the situation. Exactly. If he is real, I want to be able to try now because I'm just ready to keep my life pushing. So if he's real, that's what I'm going to do. And if he's not, then I have to let it go. I, it's not something that I can keep living with. All right, well, we've got our work cut out for us. I don't want to waste another moment. Send us all that info and we'll dive. Okay. We're going to dive right in. Got it. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
What do you think? This is crazy, huh? If it wasn't for the fact that she was so young when they met, I would think that she was nuts. Because right. 10 years with someone, I mean, trying to put myself back in 2010, 10 years ago, FaceTime did not exist yet. Right, look, what's super suspicious is why haven't they talked on the phone? I think that suggests that it could be a woman. I don't know, like what is this guy hiding after 10 years? What is the big secret? What's the tea? We've never had a two hopeless hookup. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on!